Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Gautami from Freshers Camp. Hope you all are doing great. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do so and hit the bell button to get the latest updates. Welcome to the third part of the video. In the last two videos, we had discussed about the TCS Ninja, the basic sets of questions. And in this video, we are going to talk about the TCS Ninja Advanced Aptitude Questions. So, here is the first question today. How many pairs of M and N integers satisfy the equation 4 to the power M and to N squared plus 15? All right. Now, this is um, according to their plan. That is, please do not add white space around the answer. You will get uh, this line in every question. So, coming back to the question, 4 to the power m equals to n square plus 15. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, there is no shortcut for this. Here, you will have to try out certain integers that actually satisfy the equation. And in most of the cases, these integers are single digits. What I mean to say is the digits lie in the range of 1 to 9. So, here they have given the answer 4. Let's check out the explanation. So, substitute values of m and n. Here, m equals to 2 and n equals to 1, which satisfy this equation. And also, since n is squared, value of n can also be negative. Exactly. So, here they have found 4 pairs. That is 2, 1 and 2, minus 1. 3, 7 and 3, minus 7. As you can see, that they have actually found out two pairs, that is 2, 1 and 3, 7. But here they have also taken minus 1 and minus 7. Why have they taken minus integers? Because n is squared here. So it does not really matter whether you are taking a positive integer or a negative integer because ultimately it's going to become positive. Alright, so there are four pairs, four is the answer. Moving on to the next question, of all the non-empty subsets, S of um, these elements that is 1 to 7 how many do not contain the number s where s denotes number of elements in s for example 3 4 is one uh, such subset since it do not contain the number 2 all right so here this is from set theory which is quite interesting you'll have to solve this by the um, i mean the formula of permutation and combination here we will require only the formula for combination that is, as you can see, that there um, we need to find subsets, okay, and eliminating one element each. So let let me read out the explanation. It will be better. See what they have done is six C one plus six C two plus six C three plus six C four six C five plus six C six. Uh, what this means basically is that when we are taking six C one, that means we are taking six elements from these seven elements. All right. And we are excluding one element, thus making a subset with the other six elements. Okay. In the same way, when we are using 6C2, then we are also using six elements. But out of that, we are excluding two elements. Okay. Then we are getting the answer. Alright, 6C1 happens to be 6 from the formula. And 6C2 happens to be 15. So in the same way, we have been adding all this, which came out to be 6 plus 15 plus 20 plus 15 plus 6 plus 1. And the answer comes to be 63. All right. So the answer is 63. Next, moving on to the next question. Here we have a chord of a circle has length 3n. This is the 3n length. That is the, let's name it P and Q. Okay. Where n is a positive integer. All right. The segment cut off by the chord has height n. All right, it's shown n. What is the smallest value of n for which the radius of the circle is also a positive integer? Okay, I have already named it according to the way they have solved it. So let's see. Let radius of the circle be a positive integer. It's already given r. Okay, and we are taking oa. Basically, I haven't written a anywhere here because we are taking as if the center of the circle is a so if we draw a line as o this point o is on the circumference of the circle so from the circumference if we are drawing a line till the center which we have named a then that is r all right next given chord length is equals to pq as you can see this is p and this is q the chord length is 3n okay and PB. PB is center of the 3N chord. 
that is uh, 1.5 obviously half of 3n is equal to 1.5n now we can write that ob all right ob is given oa minus ab how did we get oa minus o ab because i already told you that a is the center of the circle so we are subtracting from oa we are subtracting ab thus r minus n okay now this is by the law that OQ is the radius of the circle. It happens to be the radius of the circle and we have taken radius of the circle as R. So moving on next, just using simply Pythagoras theorem because here as you can see O, B and Q actually forms a right angled triangle at B. Okay. So by basic Pythagoras theorem, we can write that OB square plus BQ square forms OQ square. And we have got the values of each in the terms of R and N. Thus, substituting the equation, we get R equals to 1.625N. Here, we are not asked about the radius. We are asked about N. Uh, for the value of N, for which R comes to out to be a positive integer. Now, this 1.625 isn't an integer as we all know. So, we need to multiply it with something. Upon multiplying it with 4, we get 6.5, which is also not an integer. Moving on, we multiply it with 8 and we get 13 is a positive integer thus the value of n is 8 the answer will be 8 all right moving on to the next question number four how many ways can we give change for rupees 100 using one rupee and two rupee coins for example rupees 5 we can give three ways okay this is an example that we need to account for okay now thinking about this question, solving the question that we have been given, they have said that the answer is 51. How are they getting 51? It's very simple. Let x be the number of 1 rupee coins and y be the number of 2 rupee coins. Okay, so x plus y equals to 100 as we have to give a change of rupees 100. So it's obviously x plus y equals to 100. And for the starting, let's take that there. Are, we are giving the change all in 1 rupee coin. Okay. So x is equals to 100 and we are having no 2 rupee coins. So y is equals to 0. Then likewise y is equals to 1 and x equals to 98. So basically when we are giving 98 1 rupee coin and we are left, uh, we are supposed to give 2 rupee more to make it 100. Then we can give only 1 2 rupee coin and we will get this combination that is x equals to 98 and y equals to 1. In the same way this thing actually goes up till I mean starting from x equals to 100 to y equals to 0 this sequence or series goes up to y equals to 50 and x equals to 0 this is the scenario when we are giving all 2 rupee coins to pay a sum of 100 rupees thus we have to give 52 rupee coins and we do not have to give any 1 rupee coin okay so here comes this is 50 times for here for y and here we get x equals to 100 that accounts for one time thus 50 plus 1 51 ways therefore 51 ways of paying off 100 rupees in this ways and that's all for today hope you liked our video if you do so then please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and do follow us on facebook and instagram for the latest updates see you in the next video thank you for watching